everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This video is about my most recent pre-order and Black Friday Cyber Monday hauls from L3. This is a big one. It's my last big haul for quite some time. Um, and moving forward from, you know, here on out, I'm gonna, only going to be buying a little bit here and there from a couple of vendors. So this is my last big haul video for a while. So let's get started. Um, I will start first with the pre-order that was in October. Um, I placed my order on... That's the wrong paper. I placed my order um, on October 22nd. I, um, for pre-orders, I usually wait until close to the end to put my order in just because, you know, most of the time I cut my list down, you know, to try to be a little bit more budget friendly and a little bit more space wise, uh, you know, where am I going to put all this stuff kind of thing. Um, I'm already out of space, but I've been doing a lot of rearranging my wax collection around the last week or so. So, um, that's why I, another reason why I'm tapering down on how much I'm actually bringing in. So anyways, um, this pre-order was back in October and it was for the fall, um, not really fall, but it was for the Christmas and winter scents. And I grabbed a handful of things. I didn't go too crazy uh, with the pre-order. Now, the Black Friday uh, clam sale and lobe sale, I I didn't go too crazy, but I did get some, I did get a lot of clams just because I like clams. You know, just break them apart, pop one in. You don't have to chop anything. You don't have to do any of that. There's minimal mess, if anything, and I really, I really like clams. So, what I got for the pre-order, hope everyone's having a good weekend. It's Sunday evening. I wasn't sure I was going to do a video today, uh, but I decided, uh, why not? I'm going to be busy this week at work, so I wanted to get these this done. So, one... You know, there's some extras on the site now that's still available if anybody, you know, wants to grab something. And two, so I can get it put away. Okay. I did get some candy. Uh, Jen tries to put candy in just about every order. And most of the time, they're airheads. And I give them to my husband. And I didn't give it give this to him yet. Uh, grape is his favorite kind. I'm, I like cherry airheads, but grape is fine, too. He'll get something there. Okay, I got my sticker. Uh, this quote, you may live in the world as it is, but you can still work to create the world as it should be. Michelle Obama. That, that sticker. Okay, I got a couple scoops, and I did get my spoonjula. Sp spoon, spoon, spoon. <laughs> uh, this is looks like a rose gold kind of a thing to me so yeah that's nice i like that she puts a spoon in for um the scoop orders first one i got is wet bandits now i've had this in the past in a sample you know the little sample size and i really i really like this this is a heavy strong tart cranberry scent so if you like cranberry this is for you this is marshmallow fireside cranberry and christmas trees so smelling this on cold I get this, the tiniest hint, I'm going to take those off anyways, I get just the tiniest hint of the smoky from the marshmallow. It's mostly cranberry, it's 95% cranberry, and there's pine in here too, but if I remember right, the pine came out on warm when I warmed Wet Bandits, but this is, if you like cranberry, you have to like cranberry to like this one. Next is Christmas PJs. And this one is Downy Sugar Cookies and Blue Spruce. And on cold, it's pretty much just straight Downy. But I'm going to let this cure some. And then the cookies, that little bit of dough does come out on warm. I've had this before, too. Okay. I got some shapes, these ornaments, bulbs. And then they are decorated here with various colors. This is Silver Bells. This is uh, first time with this scent. This is White Velvet Bow and Vanilla Patchouli. And I've seen White Velvet Bow offered so many times on L3, you know, different sales throughout the last couple of years. And I see that 
it says, don't be scared of the scent. It's great. And so I, but I thought I was attracted to this one, not just because of white velvet bow, but because of the vanilla patchouli aspect. I love patchouli. Vanilla patchouli is good too. So how I would describe this is it's hard because I haven't smelled white velvet bow alone and I haven't smelled it at all up to this point, you know, that I'm smelling this right here. So this one it's not bakery, it's not fruity, it's kind of fresh. It's not completely earthy because the white velvet bow, I don't remember what is all what all is in white velvet bow. I'm sorry. So this one is kind of a got to try it, smell it and try it kind of a thing. Next is Charlie Brown Christmas. I like the color here, the yellow with the red and the purple. I like that. This is mistletoe and marshmallow, orange and clove. Unmistakable, undeniable Christmas scents. You can't go wrong with that. I love orange. I love clove. Oh, that smells good. It smells like Christmas potpourri with the citrus and the... Um, I get a little, a little bit of mistletoe, not too much mistletoe, but marshmallow... A little bit of sweetness in there and the orange and the clove this is this is a classic Charlie Brown Christmas next is lavender frost another new one to me this is lavender Christmas trees vanilla bean Noel sugar cookie and toasted marshmallow so this is nice lavender and pine and pine and cookies go so well together <coughs> excuse me I'm getting lavender and pine with a little bit of the sugar cookie dough, which is fantastic. This is nice. It could be used as a bedtime scent. This is definitely um, a unique scent in the fact that lavender and cookies I've had together, but lavender and pine and cookies, I don't think I've had that. So that's why I wanted to try this one here. Next, I got a couple of these word bars. This one says... What does this say on here? Wish, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to take it out of the bag because it looks like it's going to be a tight squeeze. But this bar says Wish on it. And this blend is Christmas Crunchies. And this is fantastic. I think she pours this throughout the year, too. It's, it's popular. Candy canes, Danish butter cookies, sugar cookies, and marshmallow fluff. I mean can't go wrong it's peppermint cookie it's that danish butter cookie those little blue tins that are out this time of year i've already went through a miniature tin of them but don't tell anybody uh they are <laughs> they are this is this is a great scent i love peppermint sugar cookie i love peppermint with cookie with cake i i just i like this this is fantastic second is uh this says cheer on this bar and this is strawberry bread zucchini bread and this i had to grab because i love strawberry zucchini bread it's one of my favorite blends i've ever smelled oh is that good that strawberry is sweet it's fruity and that zucchini bread it plays so well with the spice in the zucchini bread i got a couple of these elf or ornament bags However she, whatever she calls them. I don't remember what they're called. Um, this is pumpkin pecan waffles, Palo Santo, sugar cookie royale, and sugar shortbread. I've had this many times before. It's, it's a classic for a reason. The pumpkin pecan waffles and the sugar shortbread is, sugar shortbread is such a good oil. It's sweet. It's got, I mean, it's kind of... To me, it's similar to Danish butter cookies, but Danish butter cookies is a denser bakery to my nose. So the Palo Santo, you can smell that in here. When it's warmed up, you get all of the notes together. Just it's seamless. It's beautiful. So I grabbed one of these and I got cookies under the tree, which I love. This is candy canes, Fraser fur, sugar cookies, and gingerbread. I've been on a gingerbread kick and a pine kick this weekend. I've been melting a lot of both. But this, the first thing I get, honestly, is the gingerbread. Then right next door to the gingerbread is a little bit of that pine. I'm not getting so much sugar cookie, and I'm not getting so much candy cane right now, but I'm going to let this cure. I might even melt this later on in January. Because, you know, you can still have candy canes and you can still have peppermint. You can still have gingerbread, even though it's not Santa Claus time. Who says you can't? So I will melt this in January. 
that's nice. I got a couple of gingerbread houses. This is, I love cranberry. This is mauled cider tart cranberry orange. And you can see the detail of the gingerbread here. Uh, this is... I'm getting, I honestly am getting the mulled cider, those mold, those molding spices, and I'm getting a little bit of orange and a little bit of cranberry. Wet Bandits is more of a tart cranberry. This is more of a sweeter cranberry because it does have that cider aspect in here and the sweetness of the orange. So don't let orange, orange is a, orange is a really nice oil to brighten something up. And this next one is cranberry, roasted chestnuts, kettle corn, and marshmallow fireside. I love chestnuts. I love cranberry. I love kettle corn. This one was a no-brainer for me to grab. Now this one, what I'm smelling first, I'm getting the chestnuts. And I'm getting a little bit of the kettle corn, the, the corny aspect of the kettle corn. But this is, this is the chestnuts. I get a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of smoky from the marshmallow fireside. Not so much cranberry on cold. But I'm sure that that little bit of tartness will punch through when it's warmed up. Okay, my sample bag for the pre-order and then we'll get going into the Black Friday Cyber Monday. I do my samples on camera here the mist and I've said this before unless I know the notes I'm not really good with telling you what it what it is unless it's obvious this kind of smells like it's a it's not masculine but it kind of it has a it has an undertone to it that that's kind of cooling it's not peppermint but it could be I know it doesn't make sense but Maybe it's stainless steel and something. I'm not sure. There's that one. Sleepy Time Luna. I don't know if Luna is a dupe of Scentsy Luna. And then it kind of smells like it could be, but I don't know if she has that oil. I've never bought Luna other than from Scentsy. I do smell lavender. Not so much. I don't know if chamomile's in here, but this is a nice, it's a relaxing Drift off to sleep blend. I do I do like that. I'm going to look into that a little bit more. And then pink sugar, peppermint, marshmallow, fireside. You can't go wrong with this one. Definitely peppermint heavy. A little bit of sweetness from the pink sugar. There's that one. Okay. That first order, that pre-order, done. And then she does send an invoice in each order. Okay, next, this is bigger. <laughs> There's my sample bag. Okay, um, if you watch my channel and particularly my L3 videos, you know I called, I was called up for my second batch of customs in October and I did upload that video and talk about, you know, my, my inspiration for the scents and the names and that stuff. Some of them were still, um, you know, when she pours her uh, customs, a lot of the times they're offered in the in the next ready to ship. And so I grabbed a couple of mine of my creations that were still available that I wanted to have more of. A couple were um, a couple of my customs were offered in tarts and a couple were offered in bunts. So um, I got. Here we go. OK. Tobacco, Dark Night Bay Rum, Egyptian Amber, and Cotton Coconut Milk. This was my Johnny and Jack's. I had to get more of this just because, you know, I know that it's never going to be poured again. Other than if I request it. And I love, I love this. The combination of the four of these, I don't want to go into too much detail about all of that stuff. If you're interested, just watch my L3 Customs video and I explain a, a, a lot of detail on this one. I get the tobacco and I get the little bit of warmth from the rum, but I really get the, the creaminess of the coconut milk. And this is not tropical by any means. It just gives a little bit of creaminess to it. This is a mysterious sultry blend and that's exactly what I was looking for. They made it. Next is serendipity, Danish butter cookies, coconut cream pie, and yellow cake. This was my yes, please. Um, I love this. 
I love, I love this. This, I'm getting the serendipity on cold right now, but I smell that yellow cake. I smell the, um, the creaminess from the coconut cream pie. This is fantastic. I love this one. And the last custom I got is my coffee bean, blueberry flapjacks, pumpkin pecan waffles, strawberry jam glazed donuts. This was my plump and satisfied. That's what this one was. And this one, oh, it's so good. It's coffee, coffee, coffee heavy. Coffee heavy with blueberry flapjack in the background, the syrupy sweetness from the pumpkin pecan waffle, and you get the tiniest touch of glaze and strawberry from the strawberry glazed uh, donuts. This is fantastic. I'm glad I was able to get more of my customs. Um, um, a couple of them sold out, but that's okay. I got what I could. And finally, I grabbed the fluted tart of Covered Under the Stairs Strawberry Kolaches because you can't go wrong with this blend. This is fantastic any time of year. Um, Covered Under the Stairs is a special birthday cake made up of strawberry cream and crushed vanilla wafers. So it's a, it's a screamer hit. It's, oh, it's so, so good. I love strawberry. I always, strawberry scents and strawberry wax just brings the biggest smile out on my face because I love it. I love it any time of year. In my winter melting basket, I have strawberry scents because I know to break up the monotony of holiday and winter scents, I want a little bit of happiness. So, strawberry. Okay, I bought one two-pack bunt. This is Holiday Road. Uh, this is mistletoe, cranberry marmalade, and orange zest. Orange zest. So kind of similar to a couple of the other scents I ordered in the pre-order, but you know, I love cranberry and I honestly looking through, you know, doing my fall collection, my wax collection, I don't remember if I did that before I went out of town or after I got home from out of town. I don't remember, but doing that, I was drawn to the fact that I don't have very many cranberry scents in my collection and I love them. So I had to restock myself. This, her cranberry marmalade is sweet. Um, the marmalade part cuts through the tartness of the cranberry a little bit. I have to move my foot here. I took my boot off to sit down here on the ground. I actually have enough strength in my leg. I can get down on the ground again, which is good. So I, and, and you get the sweetness from the orange zest, that pop of citrus, and I'm not getting so much the mistletoe right now on cold, but warmed up, typically pine just strengthens with warmth. There's that. And I got um, Jen's sale. My sticker here is, it's never too late to be who you might be, George Eliot. I've had one of these before, and um, it's a good quote. Um, that, um, I also purchased some bags, which I know it's not wax, but I have some bags here I wanted to get. And when I, another airhead, um, when I grabbed my extra customs, I went ahead and grabbed some bags. I didn't, I didn't intend on buying more of my custom stuff, but I wanted bags and Jen restocked them over you know, Black Friday weekend. So I made a small order because I am getting low on bags. Um, so the sales for Black Friday, it was buy four clams, get one free. And then uh, for Small Business Saturday, it was buy three loaves, get one free. And then Cyber Monday, she had 30% off her entire website. I didn't participate in Cyber Monday 30% off. I just did the clams and I only got myself two loaves of my lover, Pink Frosted Cake. I'm obsessed with Pink Frosted Cake. A couple of you have told me that I've inspired you to either try Pink Frosted Cake or use Pink Frosted Cake in customs or, you know, just melt what you have of it. It's a warm, yummy, grossly intense bakery scent. N not grossly intense as disgusting, but just heavy, heavy bakery. It's delicious. It's yummy. It's, oh, it's so good. So I do have two loaves of pink frosted cake. And I'm so grateful that Jen chose to pour these because, oh, when I'm having a rough time, I smell my wax. 
then I do can my candles too. If I'm having a rough day, either personal life, professional life, married life, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, I sit and I smell my wax. It takes me to my happy place. I relax. And pink frosted cake is something that propels me to a happy place. So I treated myself. I do not need it, but I treated myself to two loaves of my lover pink frosted cake. So if any of you want to talk about pink frosted cake, hit me up because I will talk about it all day long. Okay, on to the clams. And then after the clams, we're done. Okay, now the scent notes. Oh, what do you know? Pink frosted cake. I bought another one. I told you I can't get enough. And oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. The scent notes are not on the front of the clam packages. Let me show you another one that's not a single oil, like lighting the menorah. So on my order form, luckily, the set notes are here, so I don't have to write them all down for you. So I got espresso. Espresso is excellent. It is, oh, it's such an intense, it's an intense coffee concentrated scent. It's excellent mixed with bakery. It's excellent mixed with um, fruit. Fruit and bakery are the two things that I typically melt my coffee scents with or blend my coffee scents with. And I am, I also love to melt it alone. So that's why I got that. And in here somewhere, I think I have coffee bean. I think. Maybe I don't. I thought I did. Maybe I don't. I got zucchini bread, same reason. Zucchini bread and espresso is delicious. Zucchini bread and fruits like blueberry, blueberry cobbler, blackberry, blackberry jam, strawberry, anything strawberry, strawberry jam, strawberry bread, plain strawberry, fresh picked strawberry, you name it, you can mix it with zucchini bread. Zucchini bread, oh, is good mixed with pink frosted cake too, believe it or not. Yep, I know. Lighting the menorah. I have this right now actually in my melting tote. Lighting the menorah is strawberry jam filled donuts topped with icing and a sprinkle of sugar on top. So this basically is strawberry donuts with heavy glaze. It's yummy. It's fantastic. Love that. Pink frosted cake is yellow cake with strawberry frosting. That's what pink frosted cake is. Uh, next is covered under the stairs. And covered under the stairs is a special birthday cake made up of strawberry cream and crushed vanilla wafers. I told you I love strawberry stuff. Oh, it's so good. You get the strawberry cake, the heavy bakery, and you get a little bit of the vanilla wafers. Like if you, if you put your nose down in a box of vanilla wafers, it smells like that vanilla bakery. It's so good. Next, Griswold Family Christmas. This is new to me. This is carrot cake, oatmeal cookies, and butterscotch icing. So I love oatmeal. I love oatmeal cookies. I love carrot cake. And I haven't really, I honestly haven't had a carrot cake wax. So I grabbed this one. I'm getting the butterscotch the sweetness of that. I'm getting carrot cake. Oh, oatmeal. That's it. She has a good oatmeal cookie oil and she has a good uh, butterscotch oil. I've had her butterscotch before. This is nice. It's a great creamy, almost caramel like, but not as dense as caramel is, at least to my nose. And in my opinion, this is a good one too. Next, Candy Cane Forest. This is another new one to me. This is Candy Cane Serendipity and Ice Cream Scoop Bread. Woo! Candy Cane and Serendipity is coconut, cherry, and vanilla. And um, what's the last one? Ice cream scoop bread. I'm not particularly, um, sh I'm not sure what is in ice cream scoop bread, but it sounded good. Hmm, this is interesting. I'm getting, a little bit of the candy cane. 
and a bakery note that isn't is it serendipity maybe a little bit of serendipity the cherry and the candy cane are kind of blending in together but you get the creaminess if you've ever smelled serendipity i know some of you don't like it because it has cherry in it cherry's weird with a lot of people but i find the coconut and the cherry together are so are so good um i'm getting a little bit of the of uh, the serendipity mixed with the peppermint from the candy cane and a little bit of that um man i'm struggling right now ice cream scoop bread Man, that was tough. Susan the Gentle. This is another new one for me. This is... Where are you, Susan? Oh, Soothing Vanilla, Birthday Cake, and Strawberry Jam. I mean, come on. Mmm, that vanilla... Um, not vanilla. The lavender and the coat and the... Man, <laughs> The lavender and the birthday cake are just playing so well together. It gives a little bit of that sweet herbal, herbal lavender. And I get a little bit, a little bit of strawberry jam. Not, not a ton. It's not smacky in the face like strawberry jam usually is. It's the lavender and the cake together. That's nice. I'm glad I, I'm glad I got that one. Eggnog is eggnog. Her eggnog it, it's a little spicy. You can definitely smell the nutmeg. You can definitely smell a little bit of cinnamon. I bought this mostly as a blender because I wanted to blend it with some things like some coffee. Coffee and eggnog blended together are spectacular. Um, and I wanted to bump up some of my zucchini bread blends I have. And I don't have, I don't have many eggnog. I don't have many eggnog scents in my collection but i love eggnog i have a half a gallon of southern comfort eggnog in my refrigerator and it's waiting to be opened um the week of christmas and it's spectacular too side note <laughs> um pink sugar pie crust buttermilk pie um pink sugar pie crust is it's such a good combination together and then that buttermilk pie is strong it's vanilla it's custardy it's it's smells fattening <laughs> it's good i smell the pink sugar and the buttermilk pie i have smelled both of those alone so that's what i'm picking up on bad santa bad santa is tobacco bourbon and vanilla shaving cream with woolen blankets so pretty masculine pretty masculine Ooh, that's nice. That tobacco. I love, I love tobacco. It's so good. I'm getting a little bit, a little bit of woolen blankets, which has that masculine kind of outdoorsy quality to it to me. And I'm getting a little bit of light shaving cream, just a little bit of freshness to it that just takes that into a not so much heavy cologne place. Next is spiced um, Cafe Cubano Spiced Oat Milk. I've talked about this many times on my channel. This is so good. It's such a good coffee scent. If you like coffee, do yourself a favor and just give it a try next time it's poured. Mrs. Potts. I've seen this, I've seen this poured before and I haven't, I haven't taken a chance on it, but this is Earl Grey and Tea and Cakes. Tea and Cakes to me, I love tea. I'm a tea drinker and a coffee drinker. I love tea. But sometimes tea and cakes is a little bit too intense for me. But I decided to give it a try because I do love Earl Grey. Earl Grey has that bergamot in it. With It's a, it's a very unique scent. And it's a unique tasting tea if you've ever had it. That bergamot edition, I was curious to see how that would come through in this. And you know, honestly... I know how tea and cake smells alone. In this, you can tell there's a little bit of extra something in here that isn't just straight tea and cake. So that's the Earl Grey. Mr. Earl. Oh, you have to like tea to like this, basically. That's a good one. Next is Goodnight Moon. This is... 
um, pink sugar, chiffon, soothing lavender, and pink frosted cake. So I got this mostly because I have a chunk of this. And I think it's lost its potency just a little bit because I'm not getting too much of a scent from it. So, but it is old. It's in one of my, it's in my vintage collection. It's, uh, <laughs> it's old. So this one right off the bat, I'm getting a little bit, I'm getting a little bit of pink frosted cake because that's, that's a strong boy. It's coming through. I'm getting pink sugar. I get a little bit of lavender. This is very well done. I got this to melt, you know, in the morning times when I want something that's soothing and relaxing before I get on with my day. I don't always drink coffee every day and I don't always have caffeine every day. It just, it just depends. And, um, a lot of times I, you know, when I'm working from home, I just, I get on, I get going and I really don't even make my coffee in the morning or have my tea. A lot of times I go downstairs around lunchtime and I, you know, have water or something like that. So I got Good Night Moon for those mornings where I just need a little bit of extra relaxation. Even though it's called Good Night Moon, I'm going to melt it because I don't melt at night because Poppy, I don't trust her with getting into stuff and I don't want her to get hurt and I don't want her to get wax in her fur. I don't want all that mess. So I got this to have a little bit of relaxation. You can have it any time of day, but for me, that's what my, um, intent was when I bought it. Strawberry kolaches. This is, I got a lot of strawberry. This is, kolaches are a, is it described on here? The definition of kolaches. Sweet strawberry glaze and flaky buttery pastries. We have a kolaches restaurant here in Utah. It's called Harushka's Kolaches. It's been on the Food Network. And they might even have other locations in other states. I'm not sure. But kolaches are, I don't remember what country they're from or region they're from. But they're little round pastries and they can have savory fillings. Like they, you can have breakfast, you can have meats, you can have fruit and desserts and custards and such in in kolaches so i happen to know what kolaches are but i know that when jen offered kolache oil it's something that she used to make with her grandmother i remember when she introduced it last year they're yummy buttery pastry yumminess and it really is true and then you get that sticky that sticky sweet strawberry you know strawberry pie filling that corn syrup, that heavy sticky glaze. That's what it smells like to me. Next is Eight Crazy Nights. And this is blackberry jelly fried dough, blackberry jelly fried dough and a hint of campfire smoke. I've had two Bitty Betty loaves of this and I'm back for more. <laughs> it's good. You get the blackberry jam and you get just the babiest tint. I'm talking a minuscule amount of campfire smoke. And you get a little bit of that fried dough. So this was a this is a good blend. I know it's popular in my house. Snape. Snape is absinthe, cardamom, and blue sugar. And I've seen this poured many times too. But I didn't grab it absinthe I've had before and you know I will melt anything absinthe I wasn't crazy about I don't know if it had a little bit a little bit I think there's licorice in it or anise at least you know anise is licorice flavor I'm not sure if um anise is licorice flavoring to me I think yeah I think I'm right yeah uh <laughs> sorry I had a brain fart there this I, I love cardamom and I didn't realize that there was cardamom and snape. So I grabbed it this time and I figured it's a clam. I can handle it. The blue sugar. I'm not getting too much blue sugar. This is basically absinthe with cardamom. Absinthe is spicy, not cinnamon or red hot candy spicy, but just spices and anise and yumminess. That That's hard to describe. That's when you kind of have to smell. Boogie Be Gone Peppermint. I got this for cold and flu season, even though the flu has been up in this joint and I hope it doesn't come back. <laughs> but 
this is nice. It'll be um, good for sinus issues. I mean, this one doesn't really need much explanation. Ants Jam Filled Jelly Rolls. This always sells out. This is popular. Uh, this is strawberry jam, whipped cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla pound cake. This is this is spectacular. This is a classic. This is one of her best sellers. It sells out all the time, like I said. This it's a different type of strawberry. I mean, it's sweet strawberry. It's sticky strawberry. It's delicious. But it's got a little bit of vanilla pound cake and the cream cheese that kind of tones it down so where it's not as sickingly strong sweet that the strawberry is. And finally, I got Scrooged. Scrooged is hot orange Danish kettle corn and raspberry zinger. And I was intrigued by... I've had the hot orange Danish before and I've had kettle corn, but the addition of the raspberry zinger, I was the orange and raspberry. I was intrigued by that. This smells like kettle corn with a little bit of Danish. I'm not getting, I'm not getting too much raspberry in this. I have my bag of bags. Got my six by sixes and my sample bag, and then we'll call it good on this video. Okay. Come on. Poppy hasn't discovered I'm up here yet. She usually has her paw under the door by now. <laughs> okay. Cranberry Woods Vanilla Balsam. This needs no introduction. Cranberry Woods is a, such a great Bath and Body Works scent, and Vanilla Balsam is too. This one. Mm, I get a little bit of the woods from the cranberry. I get the tart from the cranberry, and I get the pine from the balsam. That's a classic. I should buy more Vanilla Balsam. I don't think I have any. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Espresso Sugar Cookie Royale. One of my favorite espresso and PPW blends. This is, this is, oh, it's good. It's so good. Do yourself a favor and give it a try if you haven't and you like coffee and PPW. Last sample, Santa's Sleigh Ride. Lots of cranberry going on here. Brandied Pear Cranberry Pomegranate. I've never had this before, but I love Ooh, the pear. That pear is spectacular. If you watched one of my last videos, I got the sparkling pear Riesling uh, in Trig Tarts. This will go fantastic with this because I could even blend pear and cranberry go so well together too. Forgot to mention that. See, there's so many, the, the possibilities are endless. And as someone who loves to make up blends and to mix on their own, I just, I go crazy with it and I love it. Those two fruits just are friends and Oh, it's so good. I get a little bit of the richness and the boldness from the pomegranate. Man, is that good. Great samples. So that's this video. It's my, as I said in the beginning, if you watch the whole thing, this is my last large haul for a while with L3. Um, I'm going to just be buying a little bit from a couple of vendors here and there. I'll still be here. I just won't be doing large hauls. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a great week ahead. Merry Christmas to you, and I'll see you soon.